Shut up and sit down. Greetings, fellow Earth travelers. Oblix here. Today I want to take just a second to look at what is in this box, because to be frank, I have no flipping clue. I'm assuming it's a watch, but I have no clue what watch might be inside. I've actually ordered a lot of watches lately, and I have not been keeping up with the tracking numbers, and I, I don't have a clue. So let's uh, crack this bad boy open and see what's what. And the, who it's shipped from is not anybody I've ordered a watch from. So, uh, you know, it's not one of the standard companies I order from. So it was obviously drop shipped from another company. But again, no flipping clue. But we're about to find out. Let's crack this bad boy open and see what's what. We've got a ghetto wrap job for sure. I have a feeling I know what this is, given the ghetto wrap job, because I did order a watch that did not come with a box. I'm betting that is this. And let's see what is what. And that is what it is. A ghetto wrapped Von Dutch. So, interesting piece. Definitely a uh, small dial. Ooh, I don't like how loose that is. That is way too loose. I bet I can tighten that up, though. Uh, interesting point about it is you can flip it around. And it becomes this uh, kind of embo embossed, I don't know how you would say it, uh, skull. Skull face. You've got the top up here, which is supposed to be an ETA, an automatic ETA. Definitely an automatic. I can hear it rattling in there. Uh, don't know if it's actually an ETA for realsies. Uh, now, this is just a quartz down here in the bottom, because we have two watches capable of two time zones. I'm trying to bend this leather so this little guy will stop flipping around so much. I'm definitely going to have to take a screwdriver and tighten him down. Let's pop these plastics off so Von Dutch if you don't know is uh, kind of a biker skater I don't know uh, fashion brand so it, you could class this as a fashion watch it is definitely unique which is why I like it uh, anybody knows me any length of time knows I like unique watches you see Von Dutch, original Dutchman here, and the Dutchman is the brand or the model, and Von Dutch is the brand. You got a big, hefty, meaty buckle on there with the Von Dutch logo, which is pretty cool. And of course, you have your double watches. Uh, the top one with a date at the three o'clock. You've got these little, I'm sure, fake diamonds at the one, five, seven, and eleven, as well as the nine over here. You got the Von Dutch logo up here at the top. You've got this uh, kind of neat little pattern. Uh, you got mother of pearl around the outside, then you've got this raised uh, radiant pattern here on the in the center. Now here on this bottom one, it's kind of inversed, except it doesn't have the mother of pearl. You've got the radiant pattern on the outside, uh, and then kind of a flat uh, cream white almost uh, in the center there. Of course, you got the the Arabics those look to be applied at the 12, 3, 6, and 9, and obviously in that kind of biker uh, style uh, font. And then, of course, you have just applied pips at the you know all the other indices. And of course, you have your uh, your crown over here, and you have a second crown over here. That the uh, leather is pretty soft, but it uh, it feels very stout, like it's going to hold up, like it's going to look good for a while. It will probably distress, and I think that distress is going to make it look, you know, even better than it does. And it actually looks pretty good. Um, you know, liking the the strap. You can pull it off and check out the back here. And again, the rotatable 
uh, lower one. Too easily rotatable in my opinion. I think we definitely need to uh, put a screwdriver to that. But then we have uh, Von Dutch back here. Oh, we have some more plastic we can peel off. Von Dutch back here, Dutchman. Got the serial number. Uh, Swiss made. Sapphire crystal. So there you go. Nice crystal. Uh, actually feels thicker than I thought it would. And I do like kind of that double style. You can go with the the uh, skull or you can go with the the clock. It may actually settle down once you get it on wrists. It be not so twisty because this, this leather will bend up into here. Uh, let's actually get it on wrist and take a quick look. Uh, right now I am wearing my summer evening wear. Uh, one of my favorite pieces for summer evening wear, my Luminox Navy Seal Color Mark uh, in neon or acid green, if you will. And I've just got this on a uh, lime green pearl on. That uh, it's actually a cheap Chinese strap. Uh, cost probably a dollar fifty or so. I bought a whole bunch of different Chinese straps, different types off of AliExpress, and I'm trying them out to see if they're actually worth it or not, guys, because, you know, we spend a lot of money on watch straps, don't we? Uh, you know, 20 34 35 bucks each, you know, and if I can buy some for a couple bucks and get reasonable quality, then, uh, you know, that's worth a shot. So I'm going to give these a try. We're going to see how they do, and I'll come back with a review down the road and let you guys know how they worked out. But let's pop this guy off for now because it is not the star of the show. The Von Dutch is. Well, it's a chunky, meaty piece, isn't it? But again, I like that unique style. I like different things, things that are outside of the norm. Come on, get on here. I'm going to strap it down loose because I am struggling to get this leather to bend nicely. Come on. Ah. I said it's, it's a meaty feel to it. It really, really is. So it is still a little loose. Still a little little more twist than I like. I'll, I'll tighten up over here and see. It's got some screws on the sides. See if that doesn't tighten it down a little bit. Yeah, I really do. That is definitely a unique look. Uh, I'm actually kind of digging it. It's almost a little bit steampunky. Uh, you can kind of you could kind of roll with it as steampunk. The, you can get the strap in I think black or white as well, if I remember right. Um, I love brown, so I wear a lot of brown uh, khaki pants, things like that. So brown works for me. Um, I could pull this off in the office. I, a lot of folks couldn't. This is more of a weekend weekend wear. You can definitely uh, get your wrist on the the handlebar there and go to town on the bike. But uh, it's a smaller piece in diameter for each of the the individual watches but a larger piece overall I mean this diameter is huge and this diameter is pretty standard but this diameter is massive so the two together actually come out to be a pretty darn big piece definitely a wrist filler and again this is on my seven inch wrist so let's pop this guy off fight him off so I'd probably wear this normally cinched up maybe one more. So it's not going to be a, a piece for guys with huge wrist. You know, if you have an 8-inch wrist, you're going to struggle probably to get into this thing. So let me get you guys zoomed in take a little bit closer look. All right, got you guys zoomed in. Y'all can take a little bit closer look at the Von Dutch Dutchman. You can see that first piece, and then there's that second. See what I was talking about, the uh, the raised radiant around the outside there. And then here it is in the center of this piece uh, with that mother of pearl on the outside. And we'll go ahead and flip this guy over for you guys so you can see the that skull there. Pretty darn interesting. Again, definitely a, a polarizing piece for sure. This is not going to be everybody's cup of tea. I get that. Uh, love it or hate it, feel free. But uh, I like it because it's different. It's not something, you know, when I wear this, I guarantee I'm going to be the only person wearing it around me that day. Uh, I, the chances of me running into another person wearing a Von Dutch Dutchman that day are slim and none. So the, um, these rails here are designed to look like exhaust pipes of the bike. Very cool. 
really hope I can tighten this down a little bit. That's going to be a nuisance, but hopefully it will. Definitely a meaty buckle. Look at that thing. Nice logo. Meaty leather strap. So right, that's going to do it for the Von Dutch Dutchman. Um, new piece we just got in. Unfortunately, no box on this one, but we got a heck of a deal on it to get it without the box. Uh, picked it up at Talk About Watches, uh, so not complaining at all. You know, I bought it that way, so don't give them no grief, guys. It's not their fault. They, I bought it. I purposefully bought it that way, knowing it was going to come in with no box. Um, you know, but got a great deal, so fantastic. Got that ETA at the t on the uh, the Eta movement in the top, Eta automatic in the top up here. Got a quartz down here at the bottom. Dual-sided, nice leather strap, pretty interesting piece. So I'll get a full review going of this guy. We'll get some wrist time on it, and then we'll do a full review, or we'll break down the nuts and bolts. We'll look at the size. We'll do all of that stuff. But I sure do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me as we opened up our Von Dutch Dutchman. And until next time, you guys, get out there, make some noise. See ya.